Good morning. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I am out here this morning, bright and early. It is 7-11. Well, 7-10 on my phone, 7-11 on the car. And I'm about to head to Starbucks for my first order of the day. Three miles for $6.50. So it's a little bit on the smaller side, but I figured it's still early. And I would have probably taken it anyways, even if it was 8 o'clock. Um, so I'm heading to Starbucks now and oh, the sun is in my eyes. The sun is in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm out here today, 7 a.m. And then I'll probably be out here till I would say probably like four, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. I'm not really sure, it all depends. Um, so I'm trying to see how much money I can make today, you guys. You guys so i just went in starbucks and grabbed my customer's order so now i'm going to head to deliver and it's probably like two miles yeah 2.3 miles for the delivery which is not bad um but if you guys are new to my channel my name is marley and i do uber eats doordash and instacart videos in central florida um, I post five days a week usually. Um, usually it's Tuesdays through Saturdays. Sometimes I won't drive on a Monday, so you might not get a Tuesday video. Um, and I think I'm going to try and change up my schedule while my daughter goes on her vacation. So I'm gonna see if I can get in the 24 hour challenge and um, just maybe work different blocks. I don't know. Um, maybe do just do lunch and then dinner shift and see if I can make more money if I do it that way. I don't really know because then I'm not working in the morning. But but then I don't know is the night going to be better. So I'm I want to find that out just to see. I know um, some people do that. They do strictly lunch and then strictly dinner, and it seems to work good for them. But then it all is on the market. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already liked this video. And then let me know that you subscribed in the comments so I can get you added for the giveaways. Second order is up, y'all. And I am heading back to Starbucks for 1.9 miles for $6. So, ooh, the sun, the sun. So that is good. It's 7.40 right now, so... In an hour, I would have done two rides for $12. Not that great, but it's still early. <clears throat> I'm hoping that, you know, it'll get busier a little bit later. for like 50 items and I'm already done. I finished it, they gave me like 49 minutes, I think, I think, or 59 minutes. And I finished it in with 10 minutes left, so that was good. I only had one, well, I had to replace two things, two things, three things. I had to replace three things because they were out of what she wanted. Um, so I did have to message her for one thing and then the other two, she actually had replacements in there, so. I just replaced it with stuff that she had picked so that was good and I am heading to deliver already it's about 9 20 right now um, I had DoorDash on most of the time and they were sending me three dollar McDonald's orders and when I was almost done I just finally paused it again because I figured you know what I'm not gonna forget because as soon as I'm done dropping this off I will turn back on DoorDash I forget how much it was for I think $17 or $20 I honestly don't remember I'll have to check um, once I drop it off but I'm already half a mile from the drop off you guys 
Next order is up, you guys, and it is for Tropical Smoothie for two miles for $7 for Tropical Smoothie Cafe. So I'm about to head across the street to Tropical Smoothie and pick this up. So the Tropical Smoothie is dropped off and it was handed to me, the delivery, and I actually got $9.98 for that. I don't know why they did, couldn't just give the two cents. <laughs> Um, but that's pretty good you guys. I'm definitely happy I took that order. I was a little upset because they sent me my an Uber for I'm pretty sure a regular customer. They always order Chick-fil-A in the morning time and I know like the cross streets and stuff. And it was like eight dollars and change and I'm like crap. But then when I saw this was five smoothies I was picking up, I was like, eh, maybe it'll go up a little bit and it did, so I'm happy. I just dropped off that order for Chick-fil-A. It was a small one. Um, I didn't record it before I picked it up, but it was 2.4 miles for 5.48. And I only took it really because I needed to get gas. What are you doing, squirrel? Get out in the middle of the road. Are you, no, of course you're gonna go in front of me. Move, move, move. Um, Cause it brings me like right by the gas station and I need to get gas. I don't wanna have to get gas like around lunchtime. I'm not quite on E but I'm getting there but since it's a little bit slower now figures, you know what might as well just go to get gas right now that way I don't have to worry about it later once it's a little bit busier y'all already know um, I'm going to racetrack and I'm gonna use my get upside app I'm just trying to pull it up here and see how much gas uh, how much cents I'm gonna get I'm gonna get seven cents cash back for this gas station um the shell a mile away from me is like eight cents but i'm not gonna drive a mile just for a penny um seven cents is good for me and then right now you guys my little bank is at 67 dollars and y'all know i just cashed out uh like what was that this in may i think i cashed out in may i cashed out like 80 dollars 70 dollars or 80 dollars and it left me like with two dollars and that quick I've, i'm already back at 67 dollars. so get upside you guys if you don't have it is an app that helps you save money when you go to purchase gas all you do is download the app use the code i have in the description to sign up it'll give us both a little bonus for when you use it for the first time and then make sure you guys go in the, the you know in the app and then Add your cards that you would use to purchase gas in the wallet section um, because once you purchase gas using that card and you print the receipt take a picture of the receipt it has to be able to show the card that you have on file in the app so definitely make sure you guys do that first all right you guys I got gas and now I'm heading to Chick-fil-a for my next order it is three miles for six dollars and forty cents once I get the Chick-fil-A, it should only be like two miles. That's why I took it. Not really. I, it's a it's a good order. Well, it's a decent order. Not a good order. It's a decent order. Um, so I probably would have took it anyways, honestly. Um, but I'm heading there anyways. Oh, it's been so dead, you guys. I finally just got an order just now for Tropical Smoothie for... If I could hit the photos button that would be nice I keep hitting it and it's not coming up it's for tropical smoothie 2.3 miles for seven dollars that's the best one I've gotten in a while I was waiting for all the other restaurants to open and they've just been sending straight trash so finally I got an order so I'm super happy about that and I am almost to tropical smoothie already <music>
tropical smoothie is dropped off you guys and i got eight dollars for that order instead of seven so that is good next order is up and i'm heading to mcdonald's for i think it was like two and a half miles for seven dollars for mcdonald's um so i'm almost there already for this order all right so i got up to the neighborhood pressed in the coat the code that they gave me and they didn't answer when it writes a voicemail so luckily for this neighborhood I have one um, that I could use just to get in so I used that one um, I'm almost to drop it off now and since I was already in the neighborhood I accepted an order for McDonald's um, on uber but it's really a Postmates order <clears throat> What the heck is going on here? And I know that because, um, well, number one, it says it, but they texted me because with Postmates, when you got a McDonald's order, it would say, they would text you and say, you know, uh, McDonald's is now requiring masks, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why they still do that because, I mean, that's been going on for so long now. But that's how I knew it was a Postmates order. And it is for 2.9 miles for $8. And I'm coming right back in the same neighborhood that I'm in right now. So that's why I took it. But I'm going to go so that way I can hurry up, run this up to the second floor, and get back on my way to McDonald's. super small order for Tijuana it was less than a mile for five dollars I literally picked up the Tijuana and then went right next door to drop this off um, at the apartment complex that's right next door to the plazas and now I'm pulling in to Chick-fil-a for an order it is for 2.7 miles for 617 so a little on the smaller side but it's still a decent order so I figured you know what why not I'm still like I had just just dropped off that order I think I need to fix myself I'm a little crooked in my spot um, but I had just like just dropped off that order so I still had to get out of the complex and I am here now so not bad let's see they're sending me doordash no six miles for five dollars no so i'm just gonna go inside tijuana now i mean <laughs> chick-fil-a for this order for uber eats all right you guys so i just took an order it's a double order the mileage is a little bit long it's 6.7 miles but i'm pretty sure it's because i probably have to go back a mile Otherwise, it'd probably be about five miles for the delivery. So I said, you know what? Why not? They're both for the same restaurant, Huey Magoo's. So I'm about to head inside Huey Magoo's now. But it's for 6.7 miles altogether, but for $16. So I was like, you know what? It's slowing down a little bit. It's one thirty, so I'm just going to take it. This order should put me over $100. So I'm super excited about that. As of right now, I just said it was $130. I'm at $34 on Uber. I have, let's see, let me resume my dash, $36.98 on DoorDash, and I believe like $21 on Instacart. That order from this morning, I think it was like $21. I did um, just go offline with, um, with Instacart just because... I'm not going to stay on Instacart if I'm doing this order. It's going to take me a little bit. So, yeah, $21 from the Instacart order this morning. So, should be pretty close or past $100. I can't do the quick math right now, but I'm pretty sure it'll be over $100. All right, so I had to wait a little bit for those orders. Not too long, probably like five minutes because... I mean, it was a lot of food. I have two bags of food for one person and then one full bag for the other person. And I'm going to drop off. The first order is two point something miles away and it's to a regular customer. I deliver to her probably like once a month at least, I would say. Um, 
and it's a leave at the door but it's a business and it's um so i just usually walk it's i gotta walk through the gate and then i just walk through the warehouse door and set it usually on the computer desk i don't know now because this is two bags usually it's only one it usually it's like her personal meal but this is a whole like family's 30 piece so she must be feeding the office today <laughs> um so but like i said it's a leave at the door for business and i'm actually going to walk it inside and set it down on either the desk or a table and just take my picture and walk back out i'm not gonna leave it outside especially because it looks like it's going to rain which is good for uber and doordash and stuff like that but who wants to get wet i don't know um, maybe it'll pass over I don't really know but that's where I'm at right now I did calculate and I should be at about hundred and nine dollars so I'm super happy about that it's about four o'clock and it completely died I have done one order I think that I did not record I honestly can't even see what y'all are seeing because my preview is not working I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi <laughs> it's always something ain't it um, but I did one trip. It was the two points. Yeah, I think I told y'all about that. 2.7 miles for 617. And then I, yeah, I did the double order for Huey's. And then I went back to Huey's for 1.3 miles for $6.82. That was easy peasy. That was the only order I did. Ooh, I didn't get a picture of the DoorDash that I'm doing right now. The DoorDash that I'm doing right now is, I think, $7 for, it was about three miles for Huey Magoo's, so I just went inside, it was ready, they handed it to me, and I am off and headed to delivery. Let me hit get directions now, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's going to try and have me go in the back gate, but I already know you can't go in the back gate, because you have to have a remote, so can't trick me now. All right, you guys, I am about to drop off what is going to probably be my last order of the day. It is, I got it at 418. It was for 1.5 miles for Tijuana for $7.18. It's 127 and I'm literally like a couple houses away from delivering it. Yes. Oh, nope. I just passed my street, so now I'm even more further. <laughs> Trying to see, go back to the directions. Let's see, let's see, back up, back up. All right, now we are about to be drop it off. So, it took me about 12 minutes, I would say, to get it and then to come drop it off for a little over a mile. So, that's not bad, you guys. Um, I've hit my goal, so I'm super happy with that, but I will update you guys further once I get home. All right, you guys, I am home, and I'm pretty sure the last ride I told you about was my last ride. It was the Tijuana for 1.5 miles for $7.18. Um, I was getting rides, I would say, not very often. I have got one at 1.33, my next ride... I think I forgot a picture of one, um, but I have one at 316. 405, I had the the DoorDash I forgot to screenshot, but they gave me $8 for that one. So I know I took that right before 4 o'clock. And then 418 was my last ride. So from about, I would say, 715-ish to about... 4:15 ish, probably like 4:30, closer to 4:30. So 7:15 to 4:30. Um, I made let's see, 10 trips with Uber for $68. That is eight and a half hours online. And then with DoorDash, you guys, I did um, six trips for a total of $44. And that says I was on line for nine, almost 10 hours, but I did turn it on like as soon as I hit a popka. Um, and then with 
Instacart. I did the one batch this morning. It took me about an hour and that was $21. So I did really good, you guys. Um, my total for the day was $134.66. That's really good. I'm super happy with that. I'm ready for tomorrow. I need to try and fix my camera. I don't know what's going on. It's not connecting to the Wi-Fi. My phone and camera are not mixing right now. Um, so hopefully I'm recording this and everything is showing up. Otherwise, I'm sorry y'all. I'm going to have to re-record it, but I hope not. I don't think I had any issues today. It didn't end up raining, so that was really good. I think it like dropped a drizzle here and there, but not, no rain, nothing to talk about. So it was really good. Um, I hope you guys had a great day. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then let me know that you subscribed down in the comments. Don't forget to check the descriptions as well because I do put the winners of the giveaway in there. I think I might change the next one and have the winners maybe like for my thousand subscribers giveaway. I think I might have y'all go on Instagram and follow me on Instagram and like um, a certain picture or something. That way it's a lot easier because a lot of people aren't very active on YouTube and I'm picking these people out of, off of a wheel. I'm not just going and picking somebody that I want to pick. I'm actually, you know, I put everybody's names that have said they subscribed in a wheel. The wheel spins and it picks a person. And if you're not very active on YouTube, you're never gonna know you won. So far, nobody that has won in the past has came back and said, hey, I won, but I didn't never get it or something like that. Um, so I think it might work a lot faster if I do it through Instagram instead of YouTube. Um, that way people I know would be active or maybe they're more active on Instagram um, but definitely stay tuned for that. It's not happening yet. I'm going to do these two still on YouTube because that's how I've been doing it. But I think I am going to change the new program to Instagram. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow. A young boy being may dream. And in the dream... <laughs>